Hello, hello, and welcome to Nice Things. I'm excited to bring you today's DIY. It's a dupe from the West Elm 2020 Christmas Collection, the Brass and Marble Nutcracker Stocking Holder. I started off this project using this nutcracker that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. They actually have six different ones, and they all have different hats and weapons, so I bought all six. The first thing I did was remove his hair and then his beard. So to remove the hair, I made one cut in the back there and then pulled um, carefully pulled it out on both sides. And after that, I ended up using both pliers and tweezers because um, even after you remove the main piece, um, some of the fibers are left behind. They're stuck in the cracks of the nutcracker and they're stuck on the glued pieces. So you kind of have to take your time with it. But you definitely want to get all of the hair off and you want to rub off the adhesive that's under that beard because when you spray paint it, anything that you leave on, little pieces of hair, little pieces of glue, are going to um, show up. So you see there I'm using some pliers to get that out and then kind of tweeze the rest of the hair away. I don't, you don't see on camera, but I did end up getting tweezers for all the fine pieces of hair. Once I'd removed all the hair, I applied several coats of this Rust-Oleum paint in the color metallic gold and then set the nutcracker aside to dry. Moving on to the base, I used this box that I also purchased at the Dollar Tree. Only the bottom portion was needed, so I might save that butterfly top for another project. I also used Rust-Oleum paint in the color flat white and I applied two coats to the box to create a nice base to do the marbling on top of. And then to do the marbling, I used four colors, which I will list in the description box below, but basically a white, off-white, silver, and black. I did watch several videos on how to get the marble pattern to look authentic. So the main takeaway I got was to do the marbling in the same direction. And so you see here, I start by just mixing white and silver and then dabbing a what kind of a medium sized paintbrush diagonally across the box. And then once you get to the sides, you basically do the same thing. So follow that direction down along the sides. I just went back and forth until I came up with a pattern that looked good to me. So you do the same thing. At this point, uh, you just kind of go back and forth between the brushes and the water until you get something that looks like marble. <laughs> it's the best way I can say it. Of course you can take your time with it and have fun with it. There's really no right or wrong way. As long as it looks good to you, just take your time. And once the pattern is to your liking, you'll need to allow some time for the box to completely dry before moving on. These two hooks I purchased at Walmart in a pack of two for $1.50, but you can get uh, hooks at the Dollar Tree as well. I spray painted them in that same Rust-Oleum metallic gold. And then here in the video, you see me go ahead and glue the hook to the front of the box, which I don't recommend at this point in the project. <laughs> recommend you do it later and you'll see why when I go to finish the box I'm gonna to have to cut around 
this piece on this box. So you are going to glue it on at one point, but I don't recommend doing it uh, if you do this project at this point. I, I recommend you fill the box and finish the box first and then glue everything at the end. You'll see what I mean. So here I'm, I'm placing, thinking about placing the nutcracker and then I realize now I still have something to do. Um, I need to weight this box down because I'm going to use it for our stockings. So to weigh the box down, I use these rocks found at the Dollar Tree. I filled up the box almost to the top and then applied two of those tumbling tower blocks to the sides where I could rest a piece of foam board on and seal the rocks in. I attempted to measure out this foam board and it looked like I needed a square three inches three and a half inches I think it was both sides so I did my best but still ended up needing to trim it down a little bit in the end which is no big deal I'm not entirely sure that this next step is necessary. I just had it in my head that I did not want to hear the rocks moving around inside the box. So I did apply uh, some hot glue to the top of all of the rocks in hopes that they would it would hold them in place. And to finish off the bottom, I used a scrap piece of doormat also from the Dollar Tree. And now you'll see why waiting to apply that hook is beneficial. Gluing the box on the doormat was pretty straightforward. I just used the lines on the doormat to line up the box, get it on there straight. And then I used an X-Acto knife to cut the excess doormat from around the box. So just to be clear, I recommend if you do this project to uh, fill the box and completely seal it finish the bottom before applying the, the hook and the nutcracker. Once the bottom was finished, I attached the nutcracker on top using Dollar Tree Fix All Adhesive and some hot glue. And here is the finished product. I am super happy with how these turned out. Like I said, Dollar Tree carries six of these nutcrackers, so I did get all six, and I have four on my counter and two in another area. Let me know in the comments if you try this project out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.